Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the minimize what is the problem of force. So we are given two integers a and b, and we need to find x such that this is minimized. A dot x and b dot x, and the difference of this is minimized. So we need to find the x, and there are many x possible. So like you can print any one of them. So that is very simple. So if you consider a one or two, then you can consider x equal to zero, and then take the power. So it will get to one and two. The difference is one only. Okay. So similarly, you can try other things also. One to too much to the power thirty. So it will give really in this case, but it will give answer. To solve this problem efficiently, let's directly, without seeing any further example, because it will be time-consuming for now. <coughs> so what we will do? We will directly see the approach to solve this problem. So for solving this problem, what you can do? Like you have a and b, then you can initialize x with zero. And you need to calculate this condition, which is given the absolute value of a dot x minus b dot x. Okay. So you need to calculate this, and you can simply make a loop from i equal to zero to i less than thirty-one. Okay, by thirty one because we have to go till i equal to thirty. So you need to calculate a mass. Mass will be one shift by i s. Okay, it's a loop. So now you have to update x. Update x with this mass. Okay, and what is this? This is Or we are taking or we are adding this. Like if this particular bit is contributing to minimizing the difference, so we will keep that bit. And we are taking this uh, basically or so we are keeping another bit. And what we will do? We will calculate a new difference. Okay, new difference like same as this condition, this one. So a or Updated x minus your of b with updated updated x. Okay. So after this uh, new difference, so you have to check if if and only if if this new difference is less than. Uh, old difference that is d, then our difference will be new difference. Okay. Otherwise, we will take zero this x equal to m to revert the effect. Like we'll. Set uh, that bit again to zero. Currently we are setting, and then we again reset the bit. So like at this, after following this loop, whole loop, we will have one x that is started from zero and go further. So the final x, you can print that final x. Okay, see how this final x. That is our answer. This x at the end. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.